Benjamin Franklin said, in wine there is wisdom, in beer there is freedom, in water there is bacteria. Today we discuss Drunk by Jackson Biko. Welcome to Awesome Reader, where we discuss different books by different authors. To the facts of the book, Jackson Biko has been a writer of Man Talk column for many years in the Daily Nation. He's a blog by the name Biko Zulu, where he consistently writes articles and other short stories. He does a masterclass training on writing and the love for writing. The book, Drunk, has been dedicated to his late mother. The book has 167 pages, very small, easy to carry. It's actually a pocket-sized book. It has a nice red cover with a photo of a bottle and probably a drunk man on the cover, which tells the story inside the book. The book currently retails a roughly 1,000 Kenya shillings. Into the highlights of the book, we are introduced to Larry, a bright from three student, and his brother Jeff, who's just come back from India with a degree in zoology and a love for the drink. Jeff casually introduces his bro to the drink, a sip of whiskey here and there, when they're having their casual conversation. Into the thick of the story, things flip. Jeff leaves the bottle, puts his life together, gets a job, gets a wife, and even a baby on the way. On the other side, Larry has had a love for the bottle, becomes a drunk, has commitment issues with his various relationships which are not working out. But just as we're getting comfortable with Jeff, Larry, and Larry with daddy issues, the author introduces Malkia, a young girl born of a jewel, Kali artisan. Larry has become a drunk, loses his job, his house, and most of his friends. Finally, Jeff, his brother, convinces him to attend a rehab, but not before his life and, that, and the life of Malkia crosses path because of an accident. The rehab eventually does not work, as Larry lapses only after two months in the rehab. Does Larry recover from the lapse? No. Larry never recovers. The author Biko is known to me through his literary works for over several years that I used to read his article religiously every Saturday on Man Talk on the Daily Nation. I've been part of his writing masterclass, a class that I've enjoyed very much. In my opinion, as I pick his first book, The Drunk, from chapter one to five, it had a familiar ring to it. However, in char characteristic of Biko's style, he brings another storyline by introducing a seemingly different story in the book, which sweetens the plot and brings a huge suspense. Let's read a paragraph in chapter 12. On 13th November 2013, the artisan made five wheelbarrows. He painted all of them dark blue. They were for a small client in a Doret. The same day he finished the wheelbarrow is the same day Larry had a conversation with Lance about his alcoholism. This information might be of no relevance at all, so ignore it. Go back to your lives. Eat an apple. So characteristic of Jackson Biko. It is an easy read, easy to remember story that imprints in your mind and a second reading might not be necessary or required. As I finished the book, the question remained, is it Larry or is it the drink? This is a must grab. Get yourself a copy and let me know what you think about Larry. As usual, please share, 
like, subscribe, and let's keep the awesome community growing. For those who have read the book, drop your comments down below. For those who have not read the book, five lucky winners will get a giveaway of the drunk, autographed by the author himself, Jackson Biko. Details on how to win the book are below on the description box. It's always my pleasure to review books with you. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Till next time, see ya. It's awesome reader. Oh.